This is a recent video that was published and unfortunately it has so many mistakes and so we're gonna pick the top 15 to cover today. Number 15, taking videos and footages of police and military. I, I've got my ID. Look, this is my ID, I'm from the press. Again. This is lockdown area. No camera, please. But, but we're within our rights to report from here. Oh, yeah. But this lockdown area, Throughout the entire world, you really can't be taking footage of police and military. So many countries, that's illegal. Even in the United States, if you took video footage of the security around the White House, that could get you thrown in jail. Well, Al Qazero thinks that because they're reporters, they're above everybody else. Number 14, complaining that they weren't allowed into high-risk areas of COVID-19. We're not allowed inside these fenced-off areas. Now, I don't know if they don't realize how COVID-19 works. It spreads pretty easily. And so if they were able to go into an area that was high risk, they could easily pick up COVID-19, especially when you look at the video footage and realize that lots of times they weren't wearing a mask or they only were wearing a mask. I mean, look at how many doctors who were completely prepared, had tons of protection, picked up COVID-19. Number 13, blocking comments. You need to always allow comments, but in this video, they have blocked all comments on YouTube. You need to allow people to be able to point out when you don't do things that are accurate or when you do things really biased. But if you don't allow comments, people can't point those out. And I just think as a reporter, it's so unprofessional to block comments. I really don't think YouTube should allow that. Number 12, complaining that the government never responded. Several requests to interview the senior minister Home Minister and his deputies were declined. All right, Mr. Drew Ambrose. Well, the government's a little bit busy. They're fighting this thing called COVID-19, which is extremely deadly and spreads super easy. And sorry, they probably didn't have time to answer every single question you had because they're busy fighting the disease. So please, man, get off your high horse. Not everybody can take time out of their life to serve you. Right, dude? Like, have a reality check.